Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today season 10 of Alliance Wars has ended and did we get our rewards? Yes we did and this is basically what you get for finishing in Masters. So top 20 in the world, 3k 6 star shards, 16k TFIBs, 72 alpha, 7k 5 star shards and 6 of Alliance War crystals. And god, I hate those crystals. I think they should have no place in season rewards as such because it's bad enough our pulls, our champions are RNG based. Something that anyone has worked for over a month should not have that RNG element in it whatsoever. Because these crystals, the stuff they award are hugely different. As we can see here, we're gonna get 1k. So 1k tier 2 alpha shards, 1k TFIBs. And some of these crystals can award 50k. And some of these crystals can award 20k. So theoretically, one lucky crystal pull somewhere in gold 3, I suppose, or wherever you can get these crystals, can pretty much net you better rewards, rank up material wise, than finishing like platinum and master if you get lucky RNG wise. And I think that is absolutely rubbish mechanic, and Kabam should abandon these crystals altogether. War season rewards should be set in stone every single player should know what they are getting the rank of material wise you can keep your crystal shards that's always going to be rng that's perfectly fine but rank up materials for season for something that entire line 30 people has worked all together to acquire and then let's say somebody is obviously going to be much more unlucky in the alliance and somebody's going to be much more lucky so somebody is going to end up with potentially 50 times more shards than somebody else. Somebody can pull three tier two alphas from these couple of crystals and somebody can pull 5k frags or whatever. So I, I hate it. I don't like it. I don't think it should be there. There should be a set amount of tier two alpha, tier five B that you can earn, take the RNG out of it. These crystals are absolutely unnecessary. Now, uh, what's even worse, they are kind of amping up these crystals and increasing and giving tier 5 CC for it in future, so I do not expect it to get better, but definitely not a huge fan. But, as we can see here, like we got 120k one and everything else is coming in, 1 and 2k. So we're going to spin the last one out there and take a quick look at our catalyst stash. But as we can see here, overall, basically we got like two tier 2 alphas, and 22k tfibs which for like a top aq alliance is there slightly more than a week's worth of aq maybe two weeks not even that so there you go a month full of wars and items and boosts to a degree to be fair this was one of the cheaper seasons that i have ever done because i hardly boosted but yeah and new AW rewards I don't think are going to be kind of much more enticing compared to AQ. So anyways, let's quickly jump in our catalyst stash. We're going to see that currently I am on three TFI basics, uh, but only 4 tier 12. So any new rank ups will have to wait a bit. Anyways, I'm done for today. See you guys.